A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video you will learn about the application access feature of Oracle Apex that allows you to set privileges for your application. This way you can ensure that only authorized people can access segments of your application. Oracle Apex has two types of administrators, workspace administrators and instance administrators. A workspace administrator, as the name suggests, is responsible to manage administrative activities of a workspace, such as manage user accounts, monitor workspace activities, and view log files. On the other hand, instance administrators manage the entire instance of Oracle Apex. In this video we will talk about workspace administration because you are working in a hosted environment, where the role of instance administrator is not available and is performed by people on the Oracle Apex team. Workspace administrators and developers can create user accounts for the purpose of logging into the Oracle Application Express development environment and for end-user authentication to applications developed within their workspaces. They can also control access to an application, individual pages, or page components via access control. Adding the access control feature to an application creates multiple pages and the following components. Adds an access control region to the administration page. Creates the access roles, administrator, contributor, and reader. Creates the authorization schemes, administration rights, contribution rights, and reader rights. Oracle Apex comes with three built-in privileges using which you can control access to an application or its components. These privileges are, administration, edit, and view. Each of these privileges correlates to an access role. Administration correlates to the administrator role. Edit correlates to the contributor role. View correlates to the reader role. Let's create a new application to see how the access control feature is implemented at the time of app creation. When added to an application, the access control feature creates the following authorization schemes. Administration writes this authorization scheme checks if the current user in the application is assigned administrator role. Contribution writes this authorization scheme checks if the current user in the application is assigned the administrator role or the contributor role. Reader writes this authorization scheme returns true if the access control is configured to allow any authenticated user access the application. If this behavior is not allowed, it checks if the current user in the application is assigned to any application role. After creating an application, you create users and allow access to the application. This video will provide instructions whereby you will be able to control the access of your application using the built-in roles, privileges, and authorization schemes just mentioned. The following diagram depicts the security structure you will be implementing for your application. The left pane depicts a scenario for the user Nathan, who has the contributor role. When this user tries to access the customer's report page, page 2, the contribution rights authorization scheme which is associated with the create button, is contacted. Since the user has the contributor role and the create button is associated with the contribution rights authorization scheme, the button appears on the page for this user. In other words, administrators and contributors can create new customers. The second scenario, in the right pane, shows that the user John has been granted the reader role. When he tries to access the same customer's report page, the create button is not displayed. 
This is because the button is associated with the contribution rights authorization scheme. Let's create a couple of users to test the application access control scenarios as displayed in the previous presentation. Click the administration icon. Select manage users and groups. The manage users and groups page will appear on your screen, displaying your existing workspace administrator user account. Click the create user button on this page. Set the following properties on the create user page. Click the Create User button. Run the application and try to log into it using the above credentials. Enter Nathan for username. You will be denied with access denied by application security check message. This message is displayed because the user has not been granted access to the application. Execute the next steps to grant application access privilege to this user. On the error page, click the OK button to access the login page again. Enter your workspace administrator credentials to log in. Click the Administration option in the Application menu. Then click the Users option in the Access Control pane to your right. On the Manage User Access page, click the Add User button. In the Manage User Access form, enter Nathan for username, and grant him the contributor role, as shown in this video. Click the Add User button. Log out and log back in using the user Nathan credentials. This time you will be granted access to the application. Note that the administration menu will not be displayed for this user, because he is not an administrator. Add one more user John, and grant him the reader role.
We now have three users. You, Workspace Administrator, Nathan, Contributor, and John, Reader. Open page 2, Customers, in Page Designer. On the rendering tab to your left, click the Create button to select it. In the Properties pane, set Authorization Scheme, in the Security section, to Contribution Rights, and save the change. The button is now associated with the selected authorization scheme. Run the application using Nathan User's credentials. Select Customers from the menu. The Create Customer button should be visible for this user, because he possesses the contributor role. Log out and log back in using John's credentials. Once again, select the Customers option from the menu. On this occasion, the Create Customer button will not be rendered, because the user has the reader role. After testing page component access control, let's see how to restrict user from accessing an application page. Switch back to the designer interface. Click the root node, page 2, customers, scroll down to the security section, and set authorization scheme to contribution rights. Save and run the page. You will see a message insufficient privileges, user is not a contributor instead. Log in as Nathan and observe that both page and the create button are rendered for this user. Finally, let's check out the application menu access. Go to Shared Components Interface and select Navigation Menu followed by the Navigation Menu option. Click the Customers option. On the List Entry page, set Authorization Scheme to Contribution Rights and click the Apply Changes button. Switch to the Application tab in your browser and refresh the customer's report page. The application menu should still be listing the customer's entry for Nathan. Sign out and log in as John. There you go. The customer's entry from the menu has vanished. So, this step exhibited how you can prevent users from accessing menu entries. Thank you very much for watching the video.